Hi, I'd like to talk about how I uh, trim small components for for my uh, for my furniture and for my kumiko. When I uh, mention trimming, I mean I it's either a 90 degree or a 45 degree angle or any other angles. But the most popular angles I use or the more common angles I use are 45 or 90. So I use a uh, a series of uh, for larger components. I use a series of uh, bench hooks, and I probably you've probably seen this in uh, most of my other videos. With the bench hook itself, this is a very common bench hook with a uh, with a hook on both. Uh, so the the the, uh, the fences serve as hooks on both sides, and this is a lower fence on this one. This is a taller fence. I've I've already established some angles. So this is a 90 degree angle and a 45, and this one has a uh, a 90 and a 45. But you can use other non-conventional angles such as 30 or 60. And this is another more recent bench hook that has a nice feature where I can lock it into my workbench and I'll show how that works. So this is again, it's a 90 degree 45 and 90 degree 45 on the flip side for uh, on the actual hook. So, it, uh, so you have two, two fences to work with and establish different angles on the different fences. So what this the feature this particular bench hook has is that I can lock it in I can lock it into the uh, workbench and, uh, and with, uh, with using a uh, wooden bench dock and I have a hole right through to so I've set up these two holes and it locks in and this this helps quite a bit when I'm uh, when I'm cross cutting at either 45 or 90 or any other angle it locks it in and I don't have to concern myself with bracing the, uh, the actual bench hook and uh, I can I can easily trim trim it down to uh, and I use a series of uh, very, very uh, thin kerf uh, back saws, or actually some of them are considered razor saws. This is a smaller, shorter saw, and this is a, a next up, this one, and then this one. So the, the bench hook fences are actually uh, created with, uh, with the depth of the, uh, of the saw in mind. So this one actually happens to be perfectly sized for this particular bench hook and I'll give a demonstration of that. So the actual uh, the back of the saw comes right down to the top of the fence so I can trim trim this down holding the piece against the bench and it just creates a perfect angle and uh, I can uh, test the angle of course using a uh, combination square uh, the uh, so that's that's how to create the 90 degree angle. Now, if I create a 45 degree angle, it's much the same, except that I'm using the 45 degree slot. And uh, so, I've cut that down. Now, to test the angle, I use either a uh, protractor set at 45, and that's 45 degrees, or you can use the um, the inside head portion of a combination square also to determine the angle. This is a more accurate, I would say, with a very good combination square. This happens to be a six inch starret. I can actually test for that very uh, precisely. So it's, uh, it's 45. That's critical to have those small angles at the right, uh, right, at the right angle. So that's how I create parts using a bench hook on both the uh, standard bench hook and this bench hook and I'll just give you a better look at this bench hook. So these are the holes and this is where the bench hook, uh, the uh, bench dock fits in and locks in. Now this, these holes are spaced according to my particular, my workbench with the offset of the hole against, from the edge of the workbench. Of course, so you have to tailor it to your workbench if you do this, assuming you have a uh, round dog holes or you could probably get away with uh, if if they if they weren't round like square ones, I haven't done that. Don't have that type of bench, but so that works really well. Now I also wanted to show the uh, another method I use for even smaller components, and this is uh, what this is. It's a small uh, miter box. This is a small miter box, and uh, this, these miter boxes are very similar, very simple to create. There, this one happens to be a cherry, and it's also. Uh, set up similarly to the bench hook with a 90 degree 45, another 90 in this case, or 
where you can have 30 or non-conventional 30 or 60 degree angles. And what it does, what it has is a little hook at the, at the, uh, at the bottom and this actually attaches to the, uh, to your uh, face vise. Now that same hook also serves as a fence and I can also have, uh, I can also use, have slots there for different angles. So this is, uh, I can set this up for 45, 30, 60. And uh, you, if, you're, if you don't care to have it in a box, if it's a, large, if it's a wider component. Now, if it's narrower, then, uh, then it needs to fit in this uh, slot. And then, uh, then it serves more like a, like a, a miter box with, uh, with raised uh, sides on each, on each of the sides. And this is, uh, locks in your, your, your saw. Now this saw happens to, uh, this particular small miter box is uh, set up for this particular saw with a, uh, <laughs> it's not quite deep or, at all. So it works really well with this. And I have a, I created one of those. I also have one, a blank one here that I haven't even started yet. So I use this. Now these are, uh, these miter, miniature small miter boxes are ideal for a small component. So I would set it up in a face wise like this and then uh, use it to, uh, to trim me, uh, trim this down to 45. It's as simple as that. That's 45, so I'll just check it against the protractor. Check it against the inside with the head, with the, against the fence on a combination square. That's your preferred method of testing it. And of course, you have to create the slots at that ideal, uh, perfect 45 degree angle. So I would, I would recommend using a dedicated 45 degree uh, square like this. Mark it off and then cut. Either use a fence or, or just cut them fairly accurately with a, on a pencil line, or use. Uh, we use this instead. So that's very critical to have the uh, line. So, so that would be at the 45 degree angle. First reason. If I were to uh, just create a 90 degree trim. So it's as simple as that. So these are uh, very convenient, easy to move around, and they're, you could of course scale it up to uh, to a size you uh, the more preferable size for your work. But I find this size this is about six inches long by about an inch and a half or two inches wide, and again it has that hook that uh, attaches to your face voice. So easy to create with scrap woods, and so these are the methods I use to to uh, trim small components at uh, different angles, in my case 45, 90 degrees. And uh, these are the saws I use. They're essentially razor saws. They're waxed them occasionally using a tool wax. <coughs> the, uh, the height of the fence on, a, on all three, either the miter box or the two uh, bench hooks is uh, tailored to the depth of the uh, blade. Once I've done that, I take these components, if I need, to the uh, to my shooting board and and dial them into whatever uh, measurement I need, if if, if if necessary, if it's something really critical. So I, I use a shooting board in conjunction with this, and that would be it. So thanks for watching. <laughs>